everybody, this is Eric, your Biking Miking. I'm back to talk to you about how you can carry things on your bicycle. So this is an example, oh, I'll this one. This is an example of uh, a setup you can use when you need to carry maybe a lot of stuff. Maybe when you need to go grocery shopping. So to start with, you need a rear rack. And I'm using a, a rack by Delta called the Mega Ultra, which is a very cheap, a very versatile rack, very adjustable, fits almost every bike, so I use that one a lot, but of course there's many different kinds. Anyway, that's what I have on this bike here. Um, and then I have some standard, you know, pretty standard rear panniers. But if you're gonna carry a lot of stuff, especially groceries, so I recommend you put on a front rack. It doesn't have to be as sturdy as this one. It can be something simpler, like this. This one I like a lot actually because it's, it's so light and when you don't use it, it doesn't create, it doesn't add a lot of extra space. But and uh, on such a rack, you can have like folding grocery bag type panniers like this. They fold up when you don't use them, so they don't, they don't take up much space. Um, <coughs> and they ride kind of low, and you can put a lot of stuff in it, so your bike becomes you know quite stable. Now, of course, maybe you're commuting to work, you probably don't need so many bags. Maybe you only need to carry little stuff, in which case you can have, you know, this little bag put on the back, like that. It'll also be more aerodynamic because you don't have so much stuff on the sides. Um, you will still need to carry your laptop and maybe it doesn't fit in there. But if you have a big uh, steel frame like this, uh, you can easily fit it within the steel frame. Uh, <coughs> That's uh, the first example. And next we have my son's bike there. So he needed to carry his had a backpack with like rolling wheels. Um, and he needed to carry to school and it was kind of a bit too big to put on his back at the time. So we found this rack which is a bit wider which you could just strap his backpack on here, work quite well. It would probably also work if you need to transport something like a, a saxophone or something. <coughs> if you're playing some an instrument. Another example we have here is my my wife's bike. And she really likes to have a front basket like this, which is you know, quite stylish and very practical just to throw things in. Uh, only need to figure out how to mount it without squishing the cables too much, but usually that works out. And finally, we have this contraption here, which is uh, an example of a bicycle trailer. This is a single wheel trailer, which is nice because it could track very well and also it's not so big so it's easy to store just sort of hang it in the ceiling in the garage and also this one also comes with a big dryer bag in case you're going to need to go shopping when it's raining it's kind of useful of course uh, there's other variants which may have even higher capacity with, with two wheels anyway that's all i had to present today so here's your Biking Biking signing off, until next time.